larger Condor Ford. Ford lets see some interesting things about the Ford. Take a look on either sides of the Ford entrance. On the right hand side you can see gaps between the stone blocks. And to the left hand side the stone blocks are perfectly placed with very little gap. When we compare the stone blocks we can see difference in size and construction methods. This wall was reconstructed after it was damaged in wars. Almost all the walls were damaged in wars and were reconstructed later, that's why we will see differences in Satale walls. The major difference is the size of stone's blocks, their shape, their surface. Old construction has big blocks which are almost equal in shape, side and smooth surface area. Whereas the repaired walls have small stone blocks, they don't have proper shape. And they have rough surface. Raja Konda Fort is a historic fort located in Raja Konda, Telangana, India. It was built by the Padmanayaka Velama King Anapotanayaka in the 14th century AD. Till that time the Padmanayakas had the capital at Anumagalu, present to Mangal. At around 1360 AD, the capital was shifted by Anapotanayaka from Anumagalu to Raja Konda where he built a strong fort. Anapotanayaka split the kingdom into two for administrative convenience and his brother Madanayaka ruled from Devarakonda. Devarakonda was subservient to Raja Konda. The Padmanayakas lost control of Raja Konda in 1430 AD to the Bahamanas but held on to Devarakonda till 1475 AD when the Padmanayaka kingdom was finally extinguished and they joined the court of Hampi Vijayanagara kingdom. and see the piles of stones around these structures.
it is located only 70 kilometers away from Hyderabad. One has to take the highway up to Kautupal and take a diversion from there and proceed another 25 kilometers to reach Rajakonda. by Rechala Anapotanayaka, son of Rechala Singamanayaka, who was a commander of the Karkatiya king Pratap Rudra. The fort was constructed around 1360 AD. Singamanayaka attacked the Jalapali fort in around 1358 AD while he was extending his kingdom. While besieging the fort he was killed by the Somakula Kshatriyas by treachery and they were abetted in their act by the Redis and the Telugu Nayakas. When Anapotanayaka and Madanayaka, the sons of Singamanayaka came to know about this, they marshaled the forces and attacked Jalapali Fort in 1361 AD and defeated the Somakula Kshatriyas in battle. They did not stop their act of revenge and went after the Reddy kings and the Telugu Nayakas. They came into conflict with the Khandaviti Reddy kings when they occupied the Sri Salem area which was then under the Reddy kings. Madanayaka then defeated Anapota Reddy near Dharanikota but despite being victorious Dharanikota did not fall into the Padmanayaka's hands. After this incident the rivalry between the Reddy and Velama kings did not abate till the time both were consumed by the Bahamani and the Vijayanagara empires later. The Rajakonda kingdom stretched up to Godavari in the north, Sri Salem in the south, Bahamani kingdom in the west and Kondavidu in the east. Rajakonda kings initially supported the Bahamani kingdom but later in the war between the Bahamanis and Vijayanagara kings in 1424 AD, they switched their allegiance to the Vijayanagara kingdom. This enraged the Bahamani Sultan Firaz Shah who later signed a peace treaty with Vijayanagara and attacked the Rajakonda kingdom and conquered it. By the year 1433 AD, only a few forts remained in the control of kings of Rajakonda. The Rajakonda kings then sought the help of Karpil's war Gajapati of Arissa and also promised him large amounts of money. He sent his son Hambiradeva, known as Ambar Roy to the Muslims, along with a large army to help the Rakakonda kings. By 1461 AD, the Rajakonda kings recovered all their lost forts and became kings of Uragalu with the help of Hambiradeva but in turn lost their independence and became tributaries of the Gajapatis of Arissa. The Bahmani kingdom under Nizam Shah again attacked Uragalu in 1475 AD and the kingdom was annexed by the Sultan. Thus the Rajakonda kingdom originated in 1350 AD and was finally consumed by the Bahamanis in the year 1475 AD. The Rajakonda and Devarakonda kings supported the Bahamani sultans for some time, the Vijayanagara kings for some time and the Gajapatis of Arissa for some time and fought with their respective enemies. Thick and strong. 
As we walk we can see old walls and new walls which were built later, when the old ones were destroyed because of war or earthquake. is where someone has dug the stones.
very important place, important because it shows from where the blocks of stones were brought. We can see the impressions of tracks formed because of dredging of huge blocks of stones. There are multiple such tracks found here. We can even see some cut blocks of stones which were not transported and lying at the same place for centuries. request to visitors not to throw the wasp, as there are no cleaning staff, we need to take the responsibility of keeping it neat and clean. Keep watching my channel. Like, share, comment, and subscribe.